All right, guys, we're gonna start this mobilization video with a very simple exercise with upper body, just single arm forward rotation. After a few repetitions, we can reverse and go to the backward rotations. Trying to keep your arm as straight as possible. After a few reps, we're going back to the forward repetitions for the other arm and then to the back. After that, both arms moving forward, make sure you increase the blood flow and then another few repetitions to the back. Now, if you'd like to add some coordination to it, then challenge yourself and go with one arm to the back, one arm to the front, and then switch direction after to make sure we do it symmetrically. Perfect. Now we're gonna go for the chest. So we're gonna be opening on the back. Make sure you get a good stretch on your chest. From here, we're gonna add the side twist, looking behind the arm, Make sure you twist on your foot as you go back. Now we're gonna spread legs a little bit wider, so feet a bit more apart, and we're gonna go for reaches up and down, up to the ceiling, and trying to touch the floor, the ground between your legs. That gives a little bit stretch on your hamstrings, on your lower back. After a few reps, we're gonna stay down and pulse it. Few times to the middle, then going to the left, trying to touch your foot and then to the other side. Okay, perfect. Now, making sure you're standing quite wide apart, you're gonna raise your arms up and big circles with the full body. I'll go three times to one side and three times the other side. We're gonna stick for a bit longer with the upper body, starting the wrists. So a little bit of dynamic stretch and mobilization. You're gonna start with your fa hands facing forward and we're just gonna start shifting the body weight forward to put the pressure and a little bit of stretch on the wrist. Don't go too hard, start with a little weight and just see how it goes for you. After that, you're gonna twist your hand sideways, make sure you spread your fingers and from here again, we're gonna shift your body from one side to the other. Now when you move your body to one side, the other hand can lift a little bit to release the pressure. The other one stays on the ground. From here, we're gonna rotate the hands backwards. And now we'll put the pressure the other way. So try to sit back on your feet. Do it for a few repetitions. Perfect. From here, we're gonna leave your hands forward, put your feet together and sit back, stretching your upper and lower back then we're gonna shift the body to the front, the cobra stretch. So hips down, looking up to the ceiling. And then back to the child pose position. Now, if you like to get a little bit more stretch on your lats, then staying in this position, we can move both arms to one side and keep sitting back on your feet. Hold it for a few seconds, move to the other side. And again, sit down, push your hips back. Perfect. Now, we're gonna stretch a little bit of a chest to mobilize the thoracic spine. So you're gonna lie down flat, put your forehead on the mat and your arm 45 degrees to the side. From here, you're gonna move your leg above the other one and push, push yourself up a little bit with the other arm. Hold for a few seconds until you feel a good stretch. And then we're gonna switch sides. So again, 45 degrees to the side, forehead on the mat, and shifting your weight to the back, pushing yourself a little bit with the other arm. Again, hold for a few seconds until you feel a good stretch. And relax. Perfect. Now we're gonna turn around. We're gonna get to something kind of like a sit-up position with your knees bent, your head on the mat. And from here, we're gonna shift your legs to one side, stretching all the side of the body, moving to the other side. And holding here for another few seconds. Now, if you find this too easy, another version of this exercise, if you have your legs straight, your arms kind of create a T-shape, you drop your legs to the side, and then you twist your head the opposite direction. 
try to get your feet and your hand more or less at the same height. And we're gonna switch sides. You can even grab onto your feet. Make sure this arm and shoulder, they stay on the ground. Look in the opposite direction that your legs are facing. Perfect. Now, from here, we are getting to the lunge position. So long lunge. You're gonna place the opposite hand than the foot on the ground. So if it's a left foot in the front, you're gonna put your right hand on the ground. From here, we're gonna reach with the left arm in between and straight up to the ceiling, opening up your thoracic spine. Make sure you keep that good lunge position, nice and deep. And a few times after that, we change sides. So now, right foot, left hand, again, reaching between and opening up to the ceiling, nice and wide. Doing it for a few times. Sweet. Now from here, we're gonna go for the hamstring stretch. So leaving the back leg as it is, the other leg straight, and I try to grab your foot, press with the other hand on your knee, and make sure you get a good stretch on your calf and your hamstring as well. Now from here, you can sit a little bit back of our hips. And we're gonna switch sides. Again, trying to grab your foot, the other hand on the knee, pulling your toes towards you to increase the stretch. Now we're gonna go for the hip flexors. So those are the muscles that get very tense, especially if you sit a lot during the day in front of the computer, for example. So we're gonna go back to the lunge position, but this time the back foot is gonna be flat on the ground. We're trying to get this 90, 90 degrees. Now we're going a little bit forward with our foot and pushing the hips down and forward. Now what we don't want to do is for the pelvic bone to rotate to the front. So we're trying to make sure it stays upright. To make sure that happens, we're gonna take the other arm and just lean back, pushing your hips forward, lean back with the upper body, and then we switch. Again, nice and deep lunge, hips forward, the opposite arm back, and holding the stretch for a few seconds. <laughs> 